welcome to Jesus House DC, a place where hope is restored and potential is maximized. I'm Adiola Wilson, and this is the Good News Network. The Faces Drama Ministry will be presenting a special Christmas drama production on December 13th titled The Miracle of Christmas. This is one presentation you don't want to miss. You no longer need a pen or an envelope to pay your tithes and offering. Now there's a new and quick way to give to Jesus House DC with mobile giving. By simply sending a text from your phone, you can give at any time from any place. And giving this way offers increased security with access to your account and payment history, email and text confirmations, and Jesus House DC will appear on your credit or debit statement. To register, get your credit or debit card, email address, and mobile phone. Text the word GIVE to 301-750-2555 or visit www.getrumbus.com forward slash sign up and follow the instructions. That's it. You can start giving by text. Just include the amount and details. For example, text $20 for offering. Don't delay. Sign up for the convenient way to give today. Our Rise House Family Christmas celebration is December 19th. There is one family present, a mother and her three children, a set of twin boys and her four-year-old son. For more details on how you can participate in the Christmas celebration, please reach out to Erica Barnes after the service or contact the church office for further information. Encounter as Shiloh presents, Behold, I will do a new thing. A week of prayer and fasting for couples believing in God for children, starting Monday, December 14th through the 19th, 2015. Couples are to fast every day until 6 p.m. the entire week and join the conference call from 6 to 6.30 p.m. to run out the day with prayer. Don't forget the Shiloh service in church on December 19th at 10 a.m. with Pastor Omar Laoye. It's that time of year again. The registration for the 2016 Winter Prayer Retreat has started. The 2016 Prayer Retreat begins on January 29th and it ends on January 31st, 2016. We want to hear from you. The Jesus House DC Membership Information Desk located in the foyer area is open to serve you. Please feel free to stop by after each service on Sundays and a representative will be happy to assist you with information on the services and resources we have available for you. We appreciate your comments and look forward to making your stay at Jesus House DC a most welcome one. If you are sick and in need of healing, ministers will be available to pray with you at the altar immediately after every Sunday service. As a reminder, Sunday school takes place at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. before first and second services respectively. During joint services, Sunday school takes place at 9 a.m. Come and be blessed as we have interactive discussion on thought-provoking lessons and life issues. Are you all right? Yeah. No, it's a long story. But I like stories. I'm considered a bit of a storyteller myself. My husband? Have you heard of New York's Noah? <laughs> the guy who's building the ark. That's him. I love that story. Noah and the ark. You know, a lot of people miss the point of that story. They think it's about God's wrath and anger. They love it when God gets angry. What is the story about then, the ark? Well, I think it's a love story about believing in each other. You know, the animals showed up in pairs. They stood by each other, side by side, just like Noah and his family. Everybody entered the ark side by side. But my husband says God told him to do it. What do you do with that? Sounds like an opportunity. Let me ask you something. If someone prays with patience, you think God gives them patience? Or does he give them the opportunity to be patient. If they prayed for courage, does God give them courage, or does He give them opportunities to be courageous? If someone prayed for the family to be closer, do you think God zaps them with warm, fuzzy feelings? Or does He give them opportunities to love each other? <laughs> we live in a world where 
or people and things are not clear. Sometimes we think someone or something is the right opportunity, but we often get let down. There's a saying that goes, if you chase shiny things, then shiny things will become your God and will lead and guide you. Instead, let the Lord lead you. Just because the door swings open doesn't mean the spirit is in it. I leave you with this. Good opportunity, God opportunity. Open your eyes and allow God to order your steps. From all of us here at the Good News Network, have a blessed and prosperous week.